Welcome to InThisCornerTV.com. I'm Smitty. We're at the MGM Grand. Great night of boxing as we expected. Both fights end in round number eight. Glenn Johnson advancing in the Showtime Super 6 Super Middleweight Tournament, stopping Alan Green. Juan Manuel Lopez, terrific performance, stopping Rafael Marquez. After the fight, we caught up with both winners. Well, first off, uh, fought like a true road warrior. I have one problem with the performance. I said, ran, I said round nine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I didn't get that memo. Um, <laughs> um, I was working it, and um, it, it happened. I see, I see the, the opening, and I took it. So uh, I apologize. You saw the opening early and often with that right hand over the top, uh, and, and that was a punch. But I, we talked about before the fight your pacing. Your pacing in this fight was unbelievable. You were true to the body. Uh, you were setting up all kinds of shots, but really it was that overhand right. Well, the overhand was was there. You know, he was leaning to that side and giving me the overhand. So I was taking it um, as, as as often as I can. Then he started to try to smuggle the, the right hand. So I changed my plan and started to go away from it and throw some other punches. And also tried to give him a chance to get comfortable as well so I can creep in and get close enough to do the damage I wanted to do. How important was the body attack? Well, the, the body attack pay dividends. I mean, you know, he's a younger guy, so you got to work the body so you can bring them down to the pace I want him to be. I got to tell you something. I gave him one, maybe two rounds. Apparently, according to what I'm hearing, uh, a couple of the judges had him had him ahead. Uh, what what fight were they watching? I have no idea. This is becoming painful. But, you know, um, it is what it is, man. I give him one round, you give him two, I could see that maybe. But him winning the fight, I can see that at all. Oh, tell us about your continuation in this uh, Showtime Super 6 Super Middleweight Tournament. Um, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, this Super 6, is, is, a, is a, to me, is a prestigious event, and, and I just love to be a part of it, boxing against the best boxers at 168 pounds. There's nothing else like it. Um, it the, you wouldn't want to fight against anybody else if, you, if you're a Super Middleweight. So. I this how was the weight? How, how was the weight? Because it didn't seem to affect you at all. No, no, no. The weight is great. The weight is great. Um, I mean, I'm comfortable at this weight. You know, I'm not a big guy, so it, it wasn't difficult for me um, to come back down to, to, to super middleweight. You know, I fight, I fight light heavyweight just because I can, but not because I was a natural light heavyweight. I'm, I'm closer to be a natural middleweight than, than anything else. So, you know, I'm just thankful that I'm able to perform as well as I do at this age. All right, next time, I'll make sure I send you the memo on the round. Please do. I'll try my best to, um, to stick to the script. All right, best of luck. Continued success. Great performance. Thank you so much. I, um, I appreciate that. I said going into the fight that I thought this might be the toughest fight of your career. Was it? Dice, antes de la pelea, pensaba, yo pensaba que era la pelea más difícil para ti. ¿Fue? Fue una pelea fuerte. No la más difícil. La más difícil fue matar, definitivamente, pero fue fuerte. You know, it was a very tough fight, without a doubt. But when you ask me about difficult times in the ring, you got to go to Matawa and think about those things. I thought that you took over the fight when you fought inside. And when the referee let you fought uh, in, in, on the inside, I, I felt the referee uh, overdid it a little bit in this fight. Uh, your thoughts on that? Dice que cuando te dejó pelear adentro, estabas muy bien, pero el referee como que no te dejaba hacer esa pelea adentro. Realmente el referee lo respeto, un gran referee, uno del mundo, pero no trabajo muy bien hoy. El mar que estaba metiendo la cabeza, yo lo sé, estoy protegiendo muy un corte y me están llamando la atención. We thought of that, that one of the greatest referees, you know, that we have. But tonight he didn't have a good of a night. I thought he was, you know, he was putting the head in there. He wasn't really taking care of him, as the, of me, as he was of him. You really turned the fight around also when you started throwing, coming underneath. The uppercuts were tremendous uh, in this fight. Los uppercuts, cuando los empezaste ya a conectar, como que la diferencia en la pelea. No, sí, porque, porque como estaba entrando tan bajito, pues lo cuerpo eh, de Opel le entra muy bien. Mucha gente cree que mi mano fuerte es solamente el gancho y yo pego duro con las dos manos. You know, I hit hard with both hands, and, uh, you know, whatever was available, the uppercut became available when he was fighting the way he was fighting, so we took it. How hurt were you uh, from some of his left hooks? ¿Cómo, qué tanto estaba lastimado de esas izquierdas que logró conectar? No, no, me, me dio buenos golpes, me dio buenos golpes, me puso los piernas, me temblaron, mm -hmm. pero, pero realmente me pude recuperar bien, no, no, no hubo problema. He hit me, you know, I felt them, and my legs were way wobbly there, but, you know, I came right back. What's next for Juanma? ¿Qué sigue? Tal vez en una revancha, vamos a mirarlo, o Chris John, eh, yo diría que Gamboa tal vez, pero pues Gamboa parece que va a ser más en junio. You know, maybe a rematch, you know, if he's really hurt, if people want to see it again, we'll do it again, but you know, we'll see. Let's see what's out there, maybe Chris John, maybe Gamboa, we'll see.
Uh, congratulations on a splendid performance. Muchas gracias a ustedes por el siempre su apoyo. ¡Viva Puerto Rico! Yeah. <laughs>